In this video, I'll give you an overview of the hydraulic systems on our Hawk T1. As with the other aircraft systems, we've custom coded the hydraulic system to realistically simulate the behaviour and operations of the real aircraft. Starting from an engine off state, you can see the CWP captions that indicate low pressure in both of these systems. The hydraulic system and brake accumulator indicators are located on the left console. The parking brakes are currently applied and this can be confirmed by checking the pressure applied at the port and starboard brake. Disengaging the parking brake removes this pressure. Application of individual brakes is indicated here and the supply gauge shows the brake accumulator pressure dropping. The rate at which the accumulator pressure drops is dependent on the braking force being applied and the recharge rate if the number one hydraulic system is available. With the parking brake applied, the pressure will drop over the course of several hours, so the wheel chocks should be used after shutdown. The two hydraulic system gauges indicate here that neither system is currently pressurized as the engine is not running. The ailerons and tailplane are hydraulically powered and we can confirm that the control inputs don't result in a movement of those control surfaces when neither system is currently pressurised. The rudder is manually operated so that surface can be moved regardless of hydraulic system pressure. We'll now start the engine to pressurise the hydraulic systems. Hydraulic number one system starts to pressurise once the engine RPM has risen above approximately 45%. The associated CWP caption extinguishes as the pressure passes through approximately 41 bar. Once it's pressurised fully to 207 bar, we can carry out another flight control check. This time we can see that the ailerons and tailplane surfaces are moving. We can also watch the system pressure drop with the flight control inputs that are being made and confirm that it recharges. We can then close the number 2 system bypass valve by pressing the reset button. The system pressure will begin to rise and the associated CWP caption will extinguish as the pressure rises through approximately 137 bar. The hydraulic systems are now ready for flight. We'll now see what happens when the engine is shut down. Both system pressures begin to drop as the engine driven pumps are no longer supplying pressure. The ram air turbine or RAT is automatically extended as the number 2 system pressure drops below approximately 103 bar. The ram air turbine then retracts automatically as the system pressure is fully dissipated. 